their turn. Okay, we'll continue the press conference with the uh, West Champions from Huntington Beach, California. From your left to right, number 24, Hagen Danner. Beside of Hagen, number 20, Braden Salzman. Besides Braden, number 15, Christian Kanye. <coughs> And beside Christian, number 19, Rio Takata. Rio? Rio Takata, sorry, Rio. And we've also got manager Jeff Prado. Questions? Hagen, is that the game ball you've got in your uh, hand? It's my home run ball. It's your home run ball? Describe the pitch you hit and the feeling you had when that went out. It was a fastball, like, right over the plate. It felt good right off the bat. I knew it was out. And it felt good to get on the board for for myself when I go up the next inning in the pitch. And how'd you get the ball back? Who got it for you? Uh, my uncle, or the uncle, our team uncle. Hey, what was your approach with the crowd out there? Was it the norm to try and quiet them down? What was it? Well, I said before the game that, like, as our team uncle, he said that, you know, there's going to be a big crowd out there. I was like, no crowd. I, I was just saying, I was thinking that there's going to be no crowd out there. There's going to be no noise. I was kind of ignoring them, but I, I heard the noise, but I was. I wasn't like really getting bothered by it. Coach, was the game plan tonight to basically stick with Hagen the entire way as long as he could go? Yeah, as long as it was a tight game, which it was all the way, our plan was to run him out all 85 pitches. We have, uh, we feel we have plenty of pitching left for uh, uh, Saturday's game, and uh, you know, if we're lucky uh, for Sunday as well. So. The plan was just to, you know, go with him and uh, not try to get cute and save pitching and this and that. How how good was he tonight pitching wise? Oh, uh, he was he was uh, far and away better than he was in his last outing even. And uh, you know, he had his velocity, his breaking ball was uh, firm tonight. Everything was good. Uh, you know, hit his spots real well too for the most part. And. Uh, <laughs> I just think it was a good matchup for that particular team. I guess for, for all the guys, um, what did you do since you lost last night? Kind of take me through the day and how you got ready for tonight emotionally, how you bounced back from the loss last night. What was that process like? Uh, well, we went to the hotel just to rest and everything. And so, and then we just gathered around here and we were just we were staying in the dorm. And we went had batting practice and we were just resting the whole day. Were you able to, I mean, was last night the kind of loss that was easy to shake off, or was it? Yeah, yeah, because we knew we were going to get right back at him. Brayden, can you talk about closing out the game? Oh, I was really nervous. I was shaking out there. You I didn't want to give up a walk off again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to do either. <laughs> Did that go to your mind? When you... Yeah, kind of. What was that like, the first curveball you threw? Um, Oh, I knew my curveball was working when it just dropped in the dirt. Mm -hmm. Good to get that one out of your system after the yeah. last one you threw. Brayden, how long did you know you were going to pitch again today? I mean, I know you started catching. When you get pulled catching like that, do you kind of assume you're probably coming in later on? Yeah, because my coach told me that if Hagen goes 85 and he doesn't go through the game, I was going to be pitching. Did that... I don't want to say worry you. I mean, how concerned were you just bouncing back from that and bouncing back from last night, you know, before you went into the pitch? Oh, I was very concerned. Rio, is that the hardest, farthest single you've ever hit before? Uh, I mean, I hit a lot of hits, and uh, I was I was out in, out in front, but, you know, uh, I was glad I made contact, and, you know, and then I slipped. I, it was, <laughs> I was like, He's very good at that. Yeah, I'm very good. <laughs> You're very good at slipping? Yeah. But, you know, uh, uh, I'm glad a run came in, and I'm just happy. It, as you go on through this tournament, um, you know, you obviously you guys started off winning 10-0, 11-0. What's it like to play in these games when just the margin just keeps getting, seems smaller and smaller? Oh, we've had plenty of these. If you look back through our uh, sectional, subdivisional, and the game that got us, here was a one, you know, mm -hmm. one run game. We've had plenty of those games. This game actually was uh, more like uh, the standard game for us. Um, get a few runs, scratch out a few runs, and, and let the pitching take over. Yeah. Uh, no, I, 
I thought those two, the first two games were, you know, I knew it wasn't all going all to be like that, no way. So I was expecting with this Keystone team tonight, it was going to be a tight game all the way. Are you guys still hanging out with the Montana kids, and will you play ping pong and swim with them tomorrow until Saturday? Uh, well, I mean, we see them at, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but, you know, besides that, uh, I mean, we really don't meet during the day. You know, maybe when we're out, you know, watching the games, we see them sometimes and talk a little, but, you know, not, not like the dorms or anywhere else. What does it say about the San Bernardino, read the two teams from San Bernardino are... The American going to play for the U.S. title? Is that kind of cool? It's, it's really cool, you know. I didn't, I didn't think of this, you know. But both teams came from San Bernardino, and I thought, you know, it would never happen. And then it happened, and then it's uh, going to be another rematch tomorrow. And I hope to Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. You get a day off tomorrow. Yeah. Coach, did you give them any special instructions? Because for all intents and purposes, you know, the Keystone had a bit of a home field advantage throughout this whole tournament. Any special instructions knowing that the crowd would be pretty partisan? Uh, no, just to, you know, in, in your mind, make it your crowd. I mean, you hear cheers, you know, kind of make it your cheer. Uh, we knew it was obviously a hometown crowd, but I've, in the last couple of days, we've <clears throat> tried to get away from the facility a little bit. Uh, not linger around since we've had late games and everything. And I've traveled around to some, some of the other small towns around here, and I'll tell you, uh, you see a lot of Keystone signs, shirts, hats, and they know who I am because I wear my badge, I wear my hat. And every, every person has been very warm and friendly and said, uh, you know, basically, hey, good luck. I hope we beat you, but if we don't, we're on your side, we're cheering you on. And, you know... They knew that they did. They, that there were forty thousand fans, but not forty thousand enemies, and that's all that matters. You know, it's, it's just it's a din of, of noise, and, and you know we just got we just play through it. Now you guys have been here for an earthquake, and they're talking about a hurricane. Do you, do you bring this stuff from the west coast with you, or uh, anybody ever been in a hurricane? No, no I'll take an earthquake any day of the week over a hurricane. Believe me. <laughs> Hey, what was the, the? Oh, sorry. Ben. Do you remember some of the towns that you visited around? Yeah. Here? What was that? In, uh, well, yes. Uh, town yesterday, uh, no, two days ago. Is, uh, it's got a lot of. My wife and I would like to look at uh, antiques. Uh, Lewisburg. 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 Nice town. And then today was. Uh, uh, it's right. It's near. Uh, 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 near. Uh, not near Penn State. It's an old. Uh, Belfont went down there today, and yeah, there's signs all over the place. That's a nice little town, too. Had a lot of fun down there, so just do some driving around. And did you purchase any antiques? Uh, yeah, a couple of days ago we did. My, my daughter picked up a couple of things. So. Yeah, there was a nice guy at the, the big barn place in uh, uh, Lewiston, uh, Lewisburg. He, uh, he even had me come up and sign something. I mean, a manager from the Little League team, you know. But then he gave me some, gave me a few free uh, Nomar pins. So I just burst those out to all my Red Sox fans. <laughs> you guys do any antique shopping? <laughs> I'm the only antique I know. <laughs> hey, what was the big difference for you between your first outing and tonight? What was, was it just, I mean, were you a little more pumped up for this game today than yeah, maybe you I, were? Like, I, I really don't know. Like, I just came in here, like, knowing I would do well in it, everything. So, and one, like, from once from the first inning when I started throwing strikes, it just came to me that I was going to do really good and I could go through this whole game. Is twelve any kind of record strikeout wise? Uh, no. No. Oh, and, and I got these pants, like, because my pants from last game, when I like put my lift my knee up, they tighten my leg and. It'd be hard for me. My leg would just come off the mound, so I didn't. I wasn't throwing as hard. And yeah. So, so you have bigger pants? Well, they're the same size, but they're just more stretched out. For you guys, you're uh, laughing great. You don't believe that. For you guys, how important was it to get that first run? <coughs> Did that relax you guys at all to finally be out of 
kind of like the, the hitting woes that maybe you were in yesterday? Yeah, because we knew that um, Hagen was going to finish it out for us. What about you guys? Do you guys feel like in your at-bats you were a little more relaxed? More confident that we didn't have to come through with it. Mm -hmm. Do you know who's going to pitch Saturday? Or? Uh, I don't know. We're going to talk about it. it well, it, you know, the starter will either be uh, Nick or Braden, so one of the two, possibly both to some extent. And, you know, um, we also have Rio we have available. We have, uh, you know, Windish available, so... I don't know. We're going to talk about it a little bit. So, Coach, does it almost seem fitting that after last night's classic between you and Montana that it is, it's going to be your two teams battling it out for the U.S. Championship Saturday? Oh, yeah. I mean, um, we're excited. Uh, I think, um, yeah, they're a tough team, scrappy team. You're not going to get any freebies off of them. you got to earn your hit. And... Um, you know, they have a couple good pitchers left still, and it's, it's not going to be an easy game. I expect it to probably be another low-scoring low scoring affair. At this, at this point, have you guys been able to wrap your heads around the fact that you're going to be here playing throughout the duration of the tournament now? You're going to be playing all the way to Sunday, and how does that feel? Oh, well, we got to win Saturday first. Well, the Constellation game, too. Oh, the Constellation game. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's about how it usually goes. <laughs> yeah. What will you give them? What will you do tomorrow? Will they? Uh, well, you know, there's some things planned. I think the league has a, or the whole, I think there's some kind of barbecue thing planned. Try to get them off. I think all the teams are going to get them off the site here. Then there's some ESPN shoots we have to do. So. It'll be busy. I mean, the, the worst thing is lingering around. I know they like to go trade pins and stuff like that, but if they haven't traded pins by now, you know, <laughs> downtime, you can imagine 13, 12, and 13-year-olds in a, in a room together, and uh, the downtime kills us. An yeah. ESPN shoot. Who's the best on TV? Uh, Those two. Christian's pretty good. Yeah. Is, uh, is revenge a word you guys are trying to stay away from, or does that motivate uh, you for Saturday? No, nah, it's not revenge. I mean, that was a, nah, it was just one pitch they were able to hit. Nah, it's not revenge, really. I mean, we want to win. They want to win. Uh, no losers in the game, really. It'll be, it'll be just fun. Yeah, Good-spirited affair. Braden, did you replay that pitch in your mind last night, or did you, were you able to forget about it? I forgot about it. Who took the loss harder last night? You guys or your parents? I your parents. Parents. I mean, not parents. Yeah. Kids. Us, yeah, us. Any other questions? <laughs>